Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about all my empty products. I have so many empty products. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button, especially if you like makeup. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love makeup like I do. So the first item that I finished up is the limited edition seasonal Miss Myers Clean Day Dish Soap in the scent Iowa Pine. Now you can only get this around Christmas time. I love getting this and using it during like maybe November and December. It just makes me think of Christmas. Now it's not the perfect kind of pine smell but it's pretty close then we have the miss Myers clean day just soap in the scent snowdrop this smells so freaking good this is limited edition by the way I love how this smells it smells amazing I wish they had this in a perfume because it smells so good miss Myers clean day lemon verbana dish soap again I would repurchase this it smells really good you can buy this all the time at your local Target or Walgreens. And then I have my Miss Myers lilac scent that is currently by my kitchen sink. It smells so good. Like, I absolutely love it. And I'm like that much done with it. I have that much left of it. So by the time I actually get done with it, I won't be doing another empties video for quite some time. So for wax warmers, I have the Better Homes and Garden Sunset Island Sands. I love this scent. You can only really get this in the summertime, and I think it's just like the perfect beachy scent. So nice and coconutty. I love it. I love burning scents that correlate with the season. This one, sp this one smells very coconutty and lemony and just really fresh. This is something I would use when I'm done cleaning. I would probably pop one of these in just to kind of make it smell even more clean. Then we have the Sensationals Coconut Vacay. This is also limited edition. I believe I have this in my wax warmer right now. This one smells more coconutty, sunscreeny. This kind of smells like Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but better. I did not like the smell of the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer because it wasn't coconutty enough. This is how I expected it to smell, and I would repurchase this in a heartbeat. This smells so good. And we have the Sunset Island Sands. This one is also limited edition, and this one is also like a coconutty, sunscreeny, kind of pineapple-y kind of scent. It smells so good, but I love, I love wax warmers. Melt mine all the time. Repurchase this one in a heartbeat. No, no thoughts given. I would, I love this. Last but not least for the wax warmers, I have the Better Homes and Garden Crisp Fall Leaves. This is literally a cinnamony apple kind of smell, like without being gross. This smells so good. I absolutely love this scent. We have two packages of the 25 count of the Neutrogena makeup, makeup Remover Wipes. I buy these all over and over and over and over again. I love these. We have the Purology tri Trial Size Serious Care Hydrate Superfood Treatment. I really loved using this stuff. A little went a long way. And honestly, I would buy the bigger size if it wasn't $44. This was good. I'd probably buy another travel size or like a, a little trial size or whatever. I'm not going to buy the full thing. There's no way I'm spending $44 or pl $44 plus or whatever. There's no way I'm spending $20, 20 plus dollars on anything hair care unless it's me getting my hair done. Not happening, um, like very rarely, unless I'm buying multiple products, I'm not going to do it. That's just me. There's better, there's good stuff at the drugstore that I love and I swear upon. So this was good. This was a treat, but I definitely wouldn't use, I d I'm not going to repurchase this. Now for some makeup products, we have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I definitely use as much as I could. I think this is just so old. Honestly, I don't feel comfortable putting this on my face. We have the oldest concealer in my collection. I haven't used this stuff in quite some time. And I mean, I when we moved into this house, I didn't even use this stuff. This is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I don't even think they sell this packaging anymore. It's that old. I have at least that much left, but this stuff is so cakey. It's creasy. It's slippery. It, like, it is matte. But it's so slip, like, they say it's creaseless and it creases, like, hello. But this is just greasy. I cannot wear this. I did get my, I did get quite a bit of my money's worth out of this. I cannot justify putting this thing that's, like, ancient on my face. Not happening. Um, eyeshadow is one thing, but with cream products, that's, that's a big no-no. And I think a lot of it has honestly separated to the point of where 
I'm not risking it. I wouldn't even repurchase this in the actual packaging it's in now. I don't like the stuff. The Tarte Shape Tape is a lot better and at least it dries down matte. I don't like the stuff at all. Nope, nope, nope. Me hasta luego. Like. So next we have the Ren Pure Rosemary Mint Cleansing Conditioner. I do repurchase this. This is really nice when you just want something very light and very conditioning to your hair and you're not going to go in and really wash wash it. I use this every so often. I don't use it every day. That's way too much. I use it every... I would say once a month I probably use this stuff. Probably a lot more, a lot less than I should. But I would say like once a month. I use this stuff and I really do like it. I have maybe like one or two more uses out of this. Sometimes I just use it as conditioner. I don't put it on my scalp. The Ren Pure Solutions Lavender Cleansing Conditioner. I like the scent a lot better than what I do the Rosemary Mint, but I can never find this. I pretty much have to order this online or wherever I got this one from, if I can remember correctly. But I honestly love the scent. It's so nice. It's so fresh. I, like, I honestly think it smells amazing. Next, we have the L'Oreal Total, Total Repair 5 Damage Bomb Erasing Weekly, like, hair conditioning kind of mask. I love this stuff. I may be able to scrape out, like, a little bit, if that. I love this stuff so, 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 so much. Like, I can't with this mask. It smells so good. My hair, like, honestly, the most damaging thing I've done to my hair is just bleach it. I don't really put a lot of heat on my hair. Like, this is natural. It does its own thing. Like, that's it. But every once in a while, mostly when I know that I, I'm going to bleach my hair, I'll go in with this maybe a week before I bleach my hair. And then I'll like use this as a mask instead of like washing my hair. I use this. So good. I need to repurchase this ASAP. I love this stuff. I've never been much of an Aussie fan. For some reason, their conditioner and their shampoo, it just doesn't look the best on my hair for some reason. My hair just doesn't like it. But this, this is the best, like, like, like I'm speechless. I love this stuff so freaking much that is it's not even funny. I cannot get enough of this Aussie Petal Soft Dry Conditioner. It conditions your, see, this is how I use it. I'll go in the shower, wash my hair, condition my hair, blah, blah, blah. And then when I get out of the shower, I'll put a towel on my head. Or like a, something to dry my hair. Then I'll take this and like spray the ends of my hair and then kind of like run my fingers. I would take a brush and spray the brush and then brush my hair with it. Then I have the Paris Hilton Body Mist. After I go and get out of the shower, I like to go in with a body mist. I literally towel dry and then I'll take this and I will spray it everywhere. Last but certainly not least, the last thing I will never repurchase this ever again is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I do not understand the hype of this product at all. I don't understand it. This did nothing for my hair. Absolutely nothing. I looked at the directions of it. I mean, I don't have the Don't Despair. I don't have the shampoo and conditioner because I ain't spending that kind of money on my on that. But I left it in for quite some time and this did nothing like it did nothing I hope you guys do enjoy this video of my empty I will see you in my next one bye guys